What's up, family? How you doing? This is Quest QNN Health and Wellness. So we're back again with another video, and uh, wanted to do a continuation of the conversation that we had previously about carbs and carbohydrate intake, and um, just really knowing and understanding the proper way to intake your carbs and different strategies that you could utilize so that they could be effective towards your weight loss. Now. One of the things that um, that um, you know I want to talk about, you know, being a nutritionist and always being the individual who has to set the example, who has to speak with clients and different individuals in regards to weight loss, nutrition, and wellness. You know, I'm always focusing on being on top of my game. Now, I can remember uh, a couple of months back when I was uh, finishing up on my studies. I was finishing up on my graduate degree uh, for my master's in nutrition and I was spending a lot of time in the library, spending a lot of time away from my family in the library doing study and getting ready for papers and I was carving up. You know, um, understand something, carbohydrates are very important. They're very important in that they supply energy, glucose, to your brain. So it's very important. I don't want anybody to um, think that all carbs are bad. You know, it's the type of carbs that you consume. So that's what's important to understand about carbohydrate intake. But see, I was um, taking in um, a lot of carbs from uh, 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 breads and sandwiches and stuff like that because at the time I was studying. You know, and I was giving myself the glucose, but I was starting to bulk up. You know, so when I was finally done with all of my studies and all my finals, and I was able to get away from the library and those long hours of, of study, um, you know, right after, shortly after graduation, I had seen somebody that was uh, very close to me, and they had approached me and they said, you know, Quest, you know, are you, looks like you, you're gaining a little bit of weight, bro. And I had to really sit back and reevaluate like, yeah, you know what? I did put on some pounds and I've been carving up. And, um, you know, so it, it, it was really a, a self-evaluation uh, for myself. And at that time, I immediately got on a serious uh, gym regimen. I was going to the gym just about every day, hour and a half. And um, I took probably about a week and a half of really not taking in any carbs. I did a carb fast. And then even when I got back to eating carbs, I was very selective at the meals that I would have my carbs. And I eventually got my, you know, um, got back to the weight that I was comfortable with. And, um, you know, it was just a lesson to myself and it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys in understanding that the holidays are upon us, Thanksgiving is already done, but just imagine for a second, because I remember looking through Facebook at people's um, page for their Thanksgiving and look at all of these massive tables with so much food, macaroni and cheese and, and cakes and, and uh, uh, pastas and breads, all kinds of different things. And that is a lot of carbohydrates. So understanding that, you know, you want to go into these holiday um, get-togethers with a plan because you're going to be getting together for Kwanzaa. You're going to be getting together for Christmas. You're going to be going to your holiday parties. Have a strategy in place. Now, Christmas is going to be falling on, I believe, a Saturday this year. So one strategy that you can incorporate is that starting on that Tuesday or that Wednesday, if you know you're going to have a big, big family dinner, starting on that Tuesday or that Wednesday, I think it's the 21st or the 20th, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but starting that Tuesday or that Wednesday, what you can do is take a break from carbs. If you know you're going to have a massive meal on Saturday, take a couple of days and just fast off of your carbs or take in very little carbs and when it comes to that day, whether you get together on Christmas Eve, some people get together on Christmas Eve and have their party. Some people get together on Christmas Day to have their party. And then, you know, our Kwanzaa people, you know, any day throughout 
you know, the, the, the seven days of Kwanzaa, you get together, you know, you do it based upon the day that you know you're going to get together. It's a strategy, you know, so that you don't overindulge throughout the whole week and then you overindulge when you get to the Christmas dinner or the Kwanzaa dinner. So it's just a strategy. You want to have strategies in place so that you're not over consuming carbohydrates because remember what I said in the last video, as you grow older, your metabolism tends to slow down and those carbohydrates that you, would ab you were able to take in and burn them off, they are packing on pounds. So this is a very important time of year. So I just wanted to share that. So, um, so that's it for today, guys. Again, once again, enjoy your Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. Enjoy your Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays to everybody um, from Quest Nutrition Network, QNN, Health and Wellness. All right. Take care until the next video. If you like the video, hit like, share it. Inbox me if you want some more information on one-on-ones. We'll be starting the one-on-ones in 2017. I'm looking forward to a great year. All right, y'all. Y'all take care. Peace.